cleaning up the start menu in Windows 10. The start menu has always been somewhat controversial, particularly since the days of Windows 8 when it was completely revamped. Windows 10 gives us a hybrid of the so-called tiled start menu and the traditional list of uh, links. But as it turns out, you have a tremendous amount of control over exactly what goes into that tiled uh, portion of the start menu. To begin with, right click on any tile and you'll have several options. One of them is to unpin from start which, as the name implies, simply removes it. So for applications that you don't use or games that you don't play, unpinning from start is probably the quickest way to completely clean up your start menu. I'm going to go through here and clean up a bunch of the things that I simply don't use. You'll notice that uh, start menu tiles come in different sizes. I'm actually going to unpin all of these small ones as well. You'll notice that this is all in a section called play, which goes away once I've emptied it. I'm not going to worry about the Microsoft Store. I don't need weather. I never use Sketchbook. Skype is interesting. I'll leave it there. Facebook is kind of interesting, but I actually get to it through my browser, so I won't do that. And I don't need Microsoft News. So what I have now is kind of a disjointed little bit of a start menu. What I can do now is rearrange things. For example, I can drag and drop these tiles into new positions. I can also make them smaller. So there are small, medium, wide, and large options for many tiles. Many of them have only a small and medium option. I'll go ahead and make the Edge tile small, the Skype tile small, and I'm going to do the Internet Explorer tile small as well. Now I'm going to organize them put them in, a, in an approach that actually makes some sense to me. Finally, if you have something else elsewhere on the Start menu that you want to see in your tiled Start menu, like say Google Chrome, right-click on that item and you'll see Pin to Start. Once again, I'll go ahead and make it a smaller icon that I had before and drag and drop it into a position that's a little bit more useful for me. With this approach, you can customize the Windows Start menu to your heart's content and make it less of an annoyance and more of a useful tool.